Okay, take a look at this upper cervical instability at the mid phase right here. Watch how it closes. It's the ADI space. Look at that. See that right there? Normal. As they start to go into anterior head translation and flexion, we see an increased stress on the ADI space and how it opens. Now, with a doc that actually does some CVP techniques, uh, cervical traction to implement the extension, you can see how it starts to close right here. Look at that, boom. And that's when he actually starts to feel a little bit better. And you can see how in flexion, it starts to open up. That is a sign of uh, instability. And I'm gonna show you also how much instability this person has looking at this space to this space. You'll see, I mean, this is all fast forward. Look at how right away it just starts to translate over and then how much it goes over. And again, you can see how hard this is to get even on a static. This is why people that do are on a motion. This is why people who do it on a static, I don't understand. But look at how much it just starts to slide off the second he starts tilting. Look at that, boom.